Well, this is your average modern day record collection, and it'll hold a few thousand songs. A, a little bit more portable than the old days, but the old days have a certain passion for Roger Belanger, who uh, lives in the county, and we're not going to tell you where, though, because, wow, he has amassed an incredible musical collection, and not even all this, I think, would fit inside here, Roger. I mean, you've got so much. Yeah, yeah, I got, I've got. i been clocking since I was real young, and, uh, yeah, now, now that you're bringing that kind of stuff up, I'm, I'm kind of behind on that kind of stuff, but, yeah. Yeah, but you've got the stuff. This, this is the vinyl. Yep. And you've got all kinds of stuff in here. Uh, who knows what we've pulled out. Uh, and it's still functional and workable. Look at all the stuff that came in albums then. <laughs> actually, and you've got newspaper yeah, clippings that's, from... That's stuff I cut. You are a fan. Yeah, yeah, that's the stuff I cut. That is unbelievable. <laughs> and the stereo to plop it on right over there. And yep. that's the turntable. That's the key. You still put these things to use? Yes, I do. It still plays, yep. Now, how did all this get started? It started when I was probably about 12 years old, and uh, I just, you know, there had to be something different in AM radio and stuff like that, and it was just one of those things where I thought, well, you know, I, I want to go see what else is in there and stuff like that, and actually my father, he had built himself a little 8-track machine, and from there we went from the 8-tracks to the records. He listened, he had some of the, uh, the uh, old the real thick uh, 78s and then from there we went to this kind of stuff and so I kind of got that off of my dad and then I used to go to you know they had some of the odd places downtown and then when I got driving I used to drive into the states to some of the chain places in the states and get them and that's kind of how we went from there. Wow and uh, now I know a lot of people uh, from the era had uh, the era sorry to say it that way uh, <laughs> look at and oh this is so much fun oh yeah this is uh in our generation, most, that's that's heaven. <laughs> most of the people from our generation misplaced yeah. these or got rid of them at a used, record used sale them for or something. Frisbees. Did that yeah. uh, sometimes for target practice? Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, you managed to compile them all, and they're all alphabetically arranged. Yep. And yes, they are. Yep. Th at, that way, I can find them a lot easier. That's a true passion. Yeah. Yeah. It's 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 a hobby of mine. I'll tell you. It's it's uh, you know I grew up listening to all kinds of different stuff. Uh, probably a lot of kids out this way, Windsor, Detroit area, we had, you know, CKLW and then the FM stations in the States. And so we got lucky with our music as far as that goes. And we had our share of record places and stuff like that. And I was lucky enough, I'd spend a little bit a week on my part-time job on records. Any idea how many you've got? Yeah, we got uh, uh, 1,325 in there. Now, we did a story a little while ago at Dr. Disc, and I was mentioning that uh, one of the great differences between the CDs and the albums, obviously, the size and that you can look at them, yep. but they came with stuff in them, and we had oh, yeah. we found a uh, Alice Cooper billion dollar babies album. Oh. Do you have? Yeah, I know the one, one you're talking do about. You, do you have that? Yeah, I, I think to, I think I know the one you're talking about. You're probably talking That's about the one. that one right now, there. Now I just want to see. Oh, he is a true collector. This didn't. They didn't have this at Doctor Disc, and people weren't even believing me. But there it is. It is the billion dollar bill. This thing's got to be worth some serious coin. Well, you would you would think so. You know what? I, I remember when I bought the the, the, the uh, album. I think I took it out, and I thought that was just the coolest thing around. And uh, you know what? I put it back, and I, I you know it stayed there. I don't think I've ever well, that's I've good. ever you didn't looked have at to it again. Peel it off the wall with scotch tape yeah. or anything like you're, that. You're probably only the second guy that's that's did that because that's like I say that's been in there for for a long time. Oh hey, what's that over there? We'll be back with more.